Before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment cash down below. That's going to get you entered into a weekly contest that we do, man. We just we choose somebody from a random video, a random uh, comment, and we give away $50 in cash app or or uh, $50 in VC or $50 in whatever you want. Also, we um, if you like the video and comment and just continue to share the videos and we keep getting the views that we're getting, we're going to be giving away a next-gen console at the end of the month. It's real simple, man. Just like the video, comment something down below. Cash is the word of the day. And uh, you're going to be good. Also, the bots are back, man. The bots are back. Look, ignore the bots. I don't have Telegram. I don't have any of this stuff, man. Just ignore them, guys, bro. Uh, if it doesn't, if I don't tell you to, to hit me up on Instagram or Twitter, it's not me. And all of y'all know what my Instagram and my Twitter are, so you know we got that right there. Without that out of the way, man, good morning out there in 2K land, man. Look, I want to tell y'all something, man. I feel like AMP is probably a badge that needs to be run more now than any other time because with the bigger penalties for adrenaline and the bigger penalties for stamina, it just feels like... Like every shot that I was taking yesterday in here, it felt early. And y'all can just tell me in Mobile One if it just felt off to y'all. But a lot of these joints, it was just early. And I felt like some of my good time, like right here, like that, is that going to say early or late? We don't see it slightly late. It's like, it's like it's a little bit harder to, to, to judge it. Hey, he, he shot a slightly early. He probably was, he probably was a little bit off. So it leads me to believe that maybe the, maybe the Mobile One Center made it to be a little bit off, or it might be that, um, that you know i need to run out i'm gonna let y'all know about that today because i felt like I, it was some situations where it was just early and i'm like why is it early and then i went back and looked at the film and like my stamina was low and it's like it's stamina you get stamina penalties for everything now running to the ball running around going around they're just more than ever so uh yeah just be mindful of that up next man we got the boy stack saying feel good to be on xbox man you need to run stacks you need to a spot up holler at your boy i'm out here man um different between xbox and playstation a lot of people ask the real difference is it's just frame rate. Xbox got 120 frames. I don't know how it works, but my monitor is running at 120. I, I, maybe the, the game is running at 60. Maybe it's the extra power that the Xbox got, but the game runs a lot smoother on Xbox, but it is more responsive on PlayStation because it's made for PlayStation, but the Xbox just handles it better, just like it's made for PlayStation, but the PC handles it better depending on what PC you got. So if you want to know that's the difference, that's the difference is to me. The boy, hey, the boy L, L Varad said, hey, Baluba, can we get a fix with the Gatorade and the Attribute Boost uh, to work at the park on current gen. Uh, on current gen, got a, over an 80 plus and it only works in the Rec and Pro-Am. So I don't know about that, y'all. Let me know if that's a big issue with that. I don't know, I never have heard of it, but I mean, it could be, but we gotta, we have to have awareness if we gonna get things fixed, man. So make sure y'all let me know down in the comment section if that's the issue on current gen. Up next, we got the boy King Jordan DF, the newest member of DF. I rock with King Jordan, man. He says, the DF clan is home for people that, that, that try to grind and get noticed and learn how to become a great streamer or content creator. You don't have to worry about trying out. I never believed in that. Uh, if you believe in a positive, if you believe are positive and a hard worker, that we uh, that's what we judge you off. A hundred. Hey, I can't lie to y'all, man. Like we said, bro, I think this looks like they're trying to make a big change over there. A lot of people came in, and I feel like a lot of people came in and said, listen, power, it's not gonna be none of that bull you're talking about. Don't make me end you. Hey, none of that going down with us this time. We gonna let you know we wanna run a good structured organization, and we want this thing to be rocking, man. So, you know, we, we gonna see how that works out, man. Hopefully, they uh they do blow up and everybody do what they do. Best of best of luck to post Drew and King Jordan, man. Them guys is some uh some cool guys, man. Up next we got the boy Lego fan. He says if if I lost mobile one because kids were holding the ball for three minutes um on three different times. I mean for for three for five minutes three different times. That would what would be the title of that video? Uh, I tried to boost and I couldn't. It is what it is, man. Hey, look, man. A lot of times people be trying to boost, man. And if you can't, if they can't win, not only do the boosters have people that help them boost, but they got people that help them help you not win. So you you'll get sweats after sweats after sweats. So people that just be holding the ball for them, or if they feel like they're not gonna beat you, they'll hold the ball. Or if you're top of the leaderboard, they'll try to line up and get in there with you and they'll try to hold the ball man it sucks man but you know it is what it is it, I, I don't i just don't man the community it's the toxicity of this community is like it's unrivaled only by call of duty um you know but you know it is what it is some people say it's not as toxic as call of duty i've been in the call of duty community for years yeah god is toxic up next we got Coza dfs he says don't want to get
get in my feelings too deep on this app. I just want to say that y'all are changing my life and I can't thank you enough. I'm always going to strive to be a better content creator for you guys. I owe it all to y'all. And I, I agree with that, man. Like you said, man, a lot of people just, like people are happy to join DL and they happy that they're gonna be able to take, be, go to a new height. I, I, why we can't just be happy for people, man? Why everybody gotta try to hate on it and be like, oh man, this, 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 that, it's this, this, that. If it don't have nothing to do with you, shut the f up. Shut the f up. Let them boy, hey, shout out to my dog Hard Eight, man. Hey, let them guys be happy, bro. That's all I'm saying. Let people be happy. Let them do what they want to do. If you wouldn't do it, then it ain't got nothing to do with you. It's, it's really that simple, man. But let them, let them have their fun. Let them ride. Let them live their dream, man. That's that's the way I look. They ain't hurting nobody. So, shoot, let's just get right to it. That boy, hey, that boy Downwork says, I ain't gonna hold you. 2K already fooled me once and made me grind a legend for a parrot. If you think I'm grind, I'm grinding another year plus now. I, it's actually a grind and not knowing what's at the end of the tunnel you're a clown if i get there i get there and uh that's it and i can't get mad at it man i feel type i feel type the same way man like i can't i can't get mad at nobody for feeling like that bro we already saw what it was last year and it wasn't exactly what what uh, what uh, people would thought it was gonna be we thought it was gonna be game uh game changing and stuff like that it wasn't now this time they say it's gonna be cosmetic and be game changing but you know we're gonna see man y'all let me know what y'all think the legends and surprise is gonna be down in the comment section because i'm interested to know about that that boy brother jones with the hot take he said true or false if limitless takeoff got nerf the game would be more balanced and he's absolutely right bro but i've been saying this since the beginning everybody said it was quick drops off one i told you it was not quick drops they were saying it's this dunk it's that dunk say bro these dunks were never a problem nobody cared about the dunks until limited ta limitless takeoff became a thing yes that's what the issue is it's limitless takeoff i think that we all know that and i think that we all understand that at this point and um they tried to knock limitless takeoff down well actually they didn't knock limitless takeoff down uh they just knocked down the the requirements for quick drops because people kept saying that was the problem i told y'all you have to tell them what the issue is if you say it's quick drops they're gonna augment quick drops it was never quick drops it was always limitless takeoff combined with quick drops that's just what oh look at that boy coming there slide in there and get that rebound and gambit smoked that thing again man we was at the game we was out in there man gambit didn't have no boost i know y'all not used to seeing him miss a shot ever but uh he just didn't have no boost that game but you know it is what it is we we, we played good uh last night man only lost i think we only lost like out of 40 50 games we only lost like two or three so i can't get mad at it but yeah let me just take off is the issue man it was never quick drops a lot of people thought it was quick drops because they didn't understand the game didn't understand how the game works and all that stuff and it was just never that it was always limitless takeoff that was the issue maybe they need to up the requirements for limitless takeoff on silver i don't know but you can't take it out of the game now just like just like fades are a big issue and uh you know but there's a badge for it called agent threes and uh you can't take them out of the game man it makes people it promotes gameplay like that that's just to me that's just poor gameplay right there and it's just garbage but hey you can score off of it hey the boy the boy joe knows says Question for all the pro am players that follow me: Should I start my own pro am league? Would have it? Uh, would have it be the most professional and innovative pro am league in the community? Let me know if y'all would have interest in competing. If we if we have interest, I'll get all the pieces in place. Hey, I can't lie, but a lot of people say, yeah, uh, you know, whoa knows, yes, yes, yes. A lot of people say, you know, you know, we supporting it, all this good stuff right there, man. Hey, just like I said, hey, I know people would do it because people like to play in these leagues, just like I was talking about the Easy Premier League back in the day, man, the EPL. Y'all was like, yeah, we will play. If I start the Easy Premier League for real, and I get Bird to be the commissioner and help me with all the rules and stuff, y'all gonna rock with it or what, man? Because I do it, because I know a lot of people don't want to be in those super high tier leagues, but you do want to have play in the league and have some fun. We would have to make y'all pay a fee to get in because I don't want people joining the league and we get all this stuff together and then people quit. Cause that's the only thing I think the fee is about, just making people not just leave the league, you know, prematurely and stuff like that. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section about that. I'd do that. I wouldn't I, I would love to to have a pro-am league and just just host it and just put up the stats and stuff and talk about it in these videos afterwards. Up next, we got the boy, uh Key Sticks. He says W stream. And that boy out, that boy out there with that jabber walking. Boy, look at him out there giving the peace sign with the jabber walking. I guess he already made it to 40, man. Can't get mad at that right there. And next up, community clips. First off, we got the boy Dimeworth talking about. Talking about, I got the bully badge. I've got the bully animation with no bully badge. Just play to get over, get over me. 
Get off of me. Nobody's on you. Get off of me. Nobody's on you. Get off of me. Hey, I can't get mad at that, man. That's dope right there. Uh, up next, let's see what we got up next, man. Up next, we got RC the Great. Hey, coming down court. Hey, he had a little, just a little, just a little Harden, a little Harden breakdown. Ah, ah, ah. Pull up, drink, headshot. Drink. Hey, he had to say, oh, the opponent is out of there. Oh, so he just, he just, he just in uh, my career, not my career. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, the, 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 I don't know what it is, man. Y'all know what it is. My team with some James Harden clips, man. That's dope. And last but not least, we got Costa. I mean, Costa DF, man. You know what I'm saying? He's just coming through with a little. What are you saying? What, 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 little something pump fake pass, pump pump pass, pull up, drink. Hey man, y'all know what it is, man. Anyway, that's all we got for y'all today, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Also, make sure y'all go by the website and get your Lockdown University tea hoodie or whatever it is. Breeze tees, link is in the description. And uh, I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.